What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. We are down here to talk about the Real Housewives of um, New Jersey. Yes. You know, it's one of, it's my one of my favorite franchises. Yes, outside of Atlanta and Beverly Hills. Atlanta is not no it's no longer my favorite um housewife franchise, but um New Jersey always kind of like holds a space. So we're back with season 14, episode one, birthday bombshell. Um all the girls are back. It opens with um a fight scene, basically, uh, or the aftermath of a fight and so of course i guess that's going to be like maybe one of the last episodes maybe in the middle maybe a mid-season fight is going to happen um but all the women are back uh, melissa Teresa, dolores um jennifer danielle uh flesh flesher margaret margaret um jackie is back i think jackie is a friend and so um, all the women are back. Louie is back. We see Louie. So I'm actually watching the episode while I'm recording. So this is going to be a little long because um, I'm just going to cut out the parts that I'm watching, of course, because of copyrights. But I'm just going to let the video go while we, I guess, I don't know. Is this a live reaction? I don't know. I did Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip like that one time where I actually just watched the show and talked about it a little bit. Go look at my Real Housewives, the first ep the first season. <laughs> There's one particular episode review where I had like, I was sitting down eating snacks and stuff, girl. That was so fun. But you're only getting my reactions. It's just you watching me watch the show. So it was actually kind of fun to do that. I might, I might do that again, where I don't like kind of interact with you. I'm just like watching the thing, you know, a live reaction. You know what that is, girl. So I'm gonna roll a little refill up. I got my coffee here. Um, if you haven't um, tried the mushroom coffee, it's actually really good. I feel like I haven't missed coffee. However, I did have, I do have coffee and what I am doing and is mixing it with my other, with my other coffee, with my regular coffee. When I run out of that coffee, then I won't buy any more coffee. But right now I'm mixing it. But what the one thing that I do love about the mushroom coffee is that it has a coffee extract. So you still get the fla the coffee flavor um, because I love coffee flavor. Like I love the flavor of coffee. Like I just love it. And ever since I was a little girl, my grandfather, <laughs> that we'll, we'll get into New Jersey real quick. But every time I talk about coffee, I have to talk about this. I had, when I was a little girl, my grandfather used to give me coffee. Basically, he used to give me cream and sugar with coffee in it, basically. <laughs> cream and sugar with coffee. And my grandmother used to get, get on him about giving that baby coffee, right? I was little. And I remember I used to have this brown Tupperware cup. And it was like a maybe a six ounce Tupperware cup. It's so little. And my grandfather would put my coffee and I would have coffee with him in the, in the morning. But it was just like sugar. It was so sweet. He would put condensed milk in it, a little bit of sugar. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So I love coffee. I love the flavor of coffee. Even when I was pregnant. And of course, you, I didn't want to have coffee because of the caffeine. But I was eating coffee ice cream. And then I realized it was not coffee flavored ice cream. It ha actually had coffee in it. So I was a little scared. But it was not that much. The doctor was like, girl, you will be okay. I was like, I don't know. Because... <laughs> I don't want the baby to be in there doing flips. She was like, girl, shut up. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that's a little thing about coffee. So yeah, have my coffee, have my reefer. You don't have THC and CBD products down to the um, description box. So um, by Plain Jane and by Kush Queen. So um, CBD, CBN, um, THC, Delta 9, all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I have it down in the description box so go down there and and see if you, if anything gets your eye and then we, of course we have merch and stuff like that so let's get into this because we don't have a lot of time all right birthday bombshell so we're at the first um scene here with um fuda the fudas now why don't y'all like the fudas um down people down to the peacock bravo nbc universal can y'all put a um can uh, option to speed this shit up because netflix they have an option to speed up the video i don't have an option here to speed up the video i just got subtitle options more episodes and volume over here 
but yeah i need i need to be able to speed this up girl i ain't got time for all this the little baby's cussing so y'all don't like the foodas i don't i like them and i think the size of the family is perfect to include in this franchise because when they kick teresa and louie off the food is complace replace them. I think that's what I think that's what um Teresa's probably pissed off about. Because Teresa, you know, I've already watched the episode. Teresa is saying and Jen uh what's her name? De uh Aiden, Jennifer Aiden, were saying that John Food is a, dr a drug dealer, right? Or he used to be a drug dealer, not anymore, allegedly was a drug dealer back in the day. He was a big time drug dealer in whatever county she said, right? And so that's the rumor right now. We see John Fuda has lost a little weight right um and then um so we're here and with their family the grandmother she's a little loquacious lady just the little smart smart mouth she called jennifer Jen nose job jennifer <laughs> so we need this is like a good little situation here right where you have family that are they're okay with being on camera and stuff like that so i'm here for the food is i don't understand the problem okay so let's see here what um she explains okay so the, so her little baby um what's the girl's name what's her name jennifer what's this girl's name danielle what's her name it's danielle and the foodas rachel rachel and um her daughter has a tongue tie never heard of it but apparently the that little piece that connects this part to the, your tongue is too short so her little tongue she's getting tongue tied oh she's so cute though so they're gonna have a surprise party for jennifer flesher and they gotta invite everybody nose job jennifer <laughs> nose job jennifer do you do y'all believe john fuda was a little street pharmacist back in the day he strikes me as somebody who would have been a street pharmacist back in the day and I love, you know what I like about the food is I feel like they're not scared of Teresa. I feel like a lot of people come on this show and they act like they're afraid of Teresa Judice. Like she's the mob boss, right? Like she's big Ange off this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to big Ange. Um, but she acts like she's running the show, right? And it was so funny because I was watching Rodney's review and he was talking about how, um, how motherfucking at the reunion, right? He reminded us at the reunion, Teresa was like, you won't be here next year. And Andy was like, girl, like, what are you talking about? Right, and here, here's Melissa back. Here's Melissa back. So I guess the people come on the show, they act like Teresa is the boss of them. And so they don't really, you know how, what's her name was acting? Jen, um, Jen, what's her name, Jennifer? What's her name, Jennifer? Jennifer, the other one, Danielle, 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 and Rachel, Danielle, and Rachel, Danielle, and Rachel. I got to remember their names. I actually think they're, uh, they, they, the way that they added them to the show as seamless as they added them to the show, I thought it was perfect. I don't understand why they can't, the other franchises can't do that. But anyways, they added them perfect. Their husbands are there. Their husbands are, um, you know, they have these, these personalities that are okay with being on TV and stuff. So we like that. We like that, especially for this particular franchise, because we know the husbands play an integral part. And I, I see some discourse online. Um, and I don't know if these people are new to New Jersey, but the husbands have always been a part of the show. Um, at the beginning, the very beginning, they weren't so much. But I think Joe Gorga, his personality, it, it breeds that kind of. And then you have Joe Gorga and then Frank they breed that kind of you know playful man homoerotic type energy you know what i'm saying so they have a good time bill comes in they have a good time um and then the foodas right they come in and then um danielle's husband they they seem to be like i think the, these husbands like these groups of people that they chose along with their husbands because i don't think you could have had a woman on here whose husband wasn't um, okay with you know the brotherly kind of situation that they have going on on new jersey i love new jersey i do i love the family dynamic i really do i love the brother and sister rivalry the rivalry the sister-in-law melissa says she don't want Teresa. she don't want to answer any questions about Teresa. i want to see how they're going to do this this season because they did they were at um jennifer flesher's party we're gonna have to figure out something else to call jennifer flesher because i feel like since there's two jennifers i want to call her by her last name like for me in, in school since if there was other ericas i always got called in school by my first and last name if they see me because 
I don't know. And then I have two first first name. I actually have three first names um, in my middle name, too. So, yeah. So it's so funny. I don't have to call her Jennifer Flesher all the time. Flesher. I don't know what we're going to call her. Is it Flesher or Fletch? Fleshler. Fleshler. I think it's Fleshler. Jennifer Fleshler, I think. Anyways, so this is going to take forever. So we we um, let's see. So let's let's go to uh, Melissa. Melissa is in her redone home. Congratulations on your redone home. You know, if you've been watching for, for since the first season that Melissa came onto the scene, um, you know, her and uh, Teresa already had problems. They were already felt like she was jealous and blah, blah, blah. And Melissa was offended because Teresa gave them a, a no, a gift. And on the note, it said, congratulations on your redone home. And that was like a point of contention for them when she first came on. So congratulations to Melissa and her redone home. <laughs> but the home looks, it looks way better than it was looking. I don't know what she had going on originally, but the house looks way better. Antonia is going off to college, University of Delaware um no 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 who's going to michigan was it gabriella going to michigan i think gabriella's going to michigan and then yeah and so that we talked about that a little bit how antonia said that she was like she wasn't coming back i was like okay and gabriella is going off to college so they have you know both of their daughters leaving so that's something unfortunately as sister-in-laws, they're not going to be able to share, you know, each other's nieces going to college because they're not on good terms right now. So these are the kind of stuff that they're talking about that, that that people are missing because I think Joe, Melissa mentions it. She, um, Joe Gorga drove Gia to college, like helped her, you know, and so in this time he's not going to be able to do that. Um, but Louie's there, um, you know, when Joe was in, um, Judice was in jail. Joe was, uh, you know, I guess trying to be there for the girls, you know, and be there for them. But I don't know. I think there's just a civil, a sibling rivalry between Joe and um, Teresa. And for that culture, civil, sibling rivalry is common, but you're supposed to act like we're still trying we're we're family we're family we're family right and so you're supposed to kind of like get over stuff faster and stuff like that but i think they, this is too much and it's from the beginning teresa has been mad I'm, i probably will say it every season we review this show but she's been mad because melissa and joe came on the show and apparently you know we already know the story so that she's been holding a grudge she says she doesn't hold grudge she's she's a tourist so i don't know why she thinks you an Italian Taurus and you don't hold no grudges? Oh, okay. Girl, shut up. <laughs> Girl, hush. I told you to come up here. Okay, let's see. So, Gabriella. Look at Melania. She's grown up so much. They all have, but Melania, she's my favorite because she's on the smart mouth. But so Melissa's house, um, it, it and the back of it, it looks crazy. The as it did, the front looked crazy before she redesigned it. You got to redesign the back of the house too. We need some shutters on the outside of the windows. These bald ass windows look crazy as hell. If there's no like little pot, there's like no window dressing. They're just like holes in the side of a wall. Like this back wall over here where by your pool all the way to the right of your house, there's just two windows. I'm assuming this is probably a kitchen, but there's two windows right here that don't have no dressing on them, like nothing. I don't know. The back of the house to me is just as important, especially if you're going to do all these aerial shots. All right, let's see. Pictures. Teresa's wedding pictures. Louis is always red. I feel like Louis is like, I feel like Louis is full of adrenaline. Your brother and sister. 
Yeah, she told him, follow my lead with my brother. I'm the boss. Like, don't, you don't need to do nothing. Like, and the first thing you're doing is miss, uh, mentioning Melissa and Joe. Like, girl, we're past that. Y'all need to learn. Teresa, they always like to throw in, Atl Atlanta did it and motherfucking New Jersey did it. They like to throw Beverly Hills in it. Like, Beverly Hills is like the best practice or the, the standard for behavior girl they be acting crazy too because teresa did that last season and i think there's somebody on potomac or atlanta somebody oh i think maybe it was married to medicine somebody mentioned beverly hills housewives and i and it's been twice as if there's some standard of behavior girl they be acting crazy over there too so i don't know but teresa and um Teresa telling telling Louie, this is like, I got this. Like, let me handle this. This is my this is my brother's situation. Because I feel like Louie, I don't know what it is about him. I don't, it's just very erratic. He gives a very erratic, like paranoid type of energy. I don't know how Teresa is dealing with that. And Teresa is the type that an inferno can be going on around her and bitch everything is fine. It's better than ever. She, she takes a page out of um, Ashley's book. But what I was going to say is that um, Teresa needs to take a page out of Kathy Hilton and Kyle Richards book. They can be on the outs with each other, but socially they're taking pictures and everything else. Teresa and Joe can't do that. They just too, it's too much. It's too real. They're not going to be able to fake it like that. Um, so she said, take her leave. Fessler. Jen Fessler. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, like, let me tell you something. I hate to make these proclamations. I y'all don't know. I y'all know I don't see it for Teresa. I'm not here for Teresa. I I don't. I never. I can never go up for somebody who's like a dimwit, and she gives me high key dimwit. You know what I'm saying? But some of the things she says is funny. But when it comes to Teresa and Melissa, um. I'm just watching a brother of uh, Teresa, Melissa, and the, the whole situation, the Gorgas and the, um, what are they called? The Ro Robles? What are they called now? Louis, what's his last name? Isn't it Robles or something like that? Anyway. Where are you going? You're leaving. Oh, I am? She's going to be out of my life after tonight. She's going to be out of my life after tonight. Girl, that didn't happen. You're leaving. Where am I going? <laughs> Where are you going, girl? Where are you going, Teresa? Girl, you, I'm here. You don't have no pool. You don't have no pool. You are just talent. The way that everybody else is here, talent. You have anything to say about Teresa? I really don't want to answer any questions about Teresa this year. Jennifer and Teresa, Jennifer Aiden and Teresa are two little busybodies. They are, especially that Jennifer Aiden. You was a busybody girl. You a busybody. You love the gossip. You because you don't have nothing else to do. So you around here managing your house and gossiping. Girl, guess what I heard? That's Jennifer. Girl, that's Jennifer Aiden all the live long day. Who to call? Um, Teresa has been on on. Y'all still be washing your niggas' feet at your weddings, girl. It's Margaret, honey. That's my girl, Margaret. Margaret gives Jen Fessler a uh, rose-shaped uh, vibrator, and she says when she goes out of town, she don't like to bring vibrators, so she uses her electric toothbrush. <laughs> Margaret gives her the vibrator, talking about, don't worry about it, I didn't use it. Girl, shut up. Uh, Margaret's black, little black dress that she has on in this scene is really cute to me. <laughs> Margaret is my girl. I don't care, y'all. I know y'all don't like Margaret. I'm not sure why because she just has a fucking smart ass mouth and doesn't give a fuck about Teresa. oh i think that's what it is y'all give a fuck about Teresa. that's what it is girl when i'm not gonna be in the comments tussling with y'all about Teresa judice i will not be fighting over no dimwit y'all can fight over the dimwit if you want to i will not be joining in y'all can fight in the comments please do not fight in the comments <laughs> jam son is, was is it meant is the mama black did you see did anybody else see jan's son i mean because i'm looking at his face like that i thought that kind of looked like a black dude was jan's um y'all <laughs> this dude looks like a black man if y'all seen jan's son go back and look at his face and tell me not 
it was, was Jan's wife black? I can't imagine that she was. Girl, I'm about to take a picture of this man. I'm looking at him like, that's not. That look like a like a Jewish man to you, girl. What's going on? I guess so. But Jewish people, and some, sometimes them light skinned black folks be looking like Jewish people, and Jewish people be looking like light skinned black people. Sometimes, I guess we all cousins, damn it, down here. Jan died. Oh, Margaret. Yeah. So it's just it's it's a weird thing. So this is a good storyline for Margaret. Her grieving Jan's death. But um, did you hear um, later on in the episode? Joe says to Joe, like, I think it was Joe, um, how I think it's in the season, like trailer at the end where he says basically like their relationship has changed since Jan died. Like it's di their relationship between her and her husband is different since her ex-husband died. Girl, that's a good, that's a good storyline to me. Like, I feel like that. Y'all don't think that's a good storyline? I feel like that's a good storyline. What you think? I feel like it is. So Margaret is grieving um but uh, jan's son looks like he's black I, I wonder if the mama is black because i'm looking at that man like that's jan's son <laughs> girl what okay girl jan's son looks like a negro okay let's see okay so they're gonna this is where um margaret is telling fessler that she i'm just gonna call her fessler where she is um going to take her to dinner they're gonna throw her a surprise birthday party it's gonna be um, Margaret, Rachel, and um, who else was that? What do you think of that? Who was that she was talking to? Oh, Melissa. Margaret, do not want to talk about Teresa. You have no credibility. Louie had somebody call Margaret's son's job, I believe, or something like that. Margaret don't want to have nothing to do with um, Teresa. So I think that's going to be a point of contention between Fessler and Margaret because she's befriending Teresa. So how would y'all feel if your close friend be started befriending someone else that kind of did something to you? Right. And they're like trying to say, she's always been nice to me. Like, and that's my whole thing. Like, if you see she's not nice to somebody that you care about, what do you think she's going to, how do you think she's going to treat you? Like, where do you think you're going to fit into this? Do you just want to wait and see if she does it to you or not? Haven't you been watching the show, Fessler? You don't know how Teresa Judice moves, girl. So Fessler wants to talk to Teresa about the situation with Margaret. Um, and she said, don't bring her up. Now, if I was Fessler, I would bring it up, but not bring it up like, um, like on behalf of margaret i would be like you, the way that you and louis did margaret like that kind of i'm a little cautious about developing a friendship with you i really want to develop a friendship with you but you have to i think it's better if jennifer acknowledges that she is aware of what Teresa and louis are capable of doing to let her know like i'm 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 watching you like i i, I want to be cool with you but I'm kind of watching you, chick, because Margaret means a lot to me. That's my friend. And what your husband did, she's going to deny it, but what your husband did last year um, with Margaret's son, I do not agree with, and I cannot get jiggy with that shit. Like, just say it, just say it. So I figured that's the kind of conversation, not talking about Margaret, but letting Teresa and her husband know, bitch, you all notice. You on what we watching you. Oh, Margaret wanted to call her something. She said she don't want to talk about it no more. Yeah, because you and Louie were acting like you was coming after people. Your your boyfriend at the time would had an investigator on people. Teresa. Teresa be acting like she don't know. That's a problem. And I think people get I, I think it's like I think it's time. Let me let these little ads play. 
I think it's time that we stop acting like Teresa is this English is her second language. She doesn't get it. She gets it. She plays to that saying things, colloquialisms or little sayings or things that we say, saying them wrong and stuff like that. Girl, you ain't you be playing. You be playing. I could play that game too when I'm down here doing Love and Marriage Huntsville and I get every fucking body's name wrong. I could play that. We can play. We all can play that game like we don't know what the fuck to say. And I think Teresa gets, I think that's why people have like some grace for Teresa because it's almost like the same kind of grace y'all give Portia. Like you're like coddling a, a dummy. Like you're kind of coddling a dummy. Like you're kind you know, <laughs> like a dimwit. That's the only thing I can say. Like a dimwit. You're caught because you feel sorry for them in a way but it's an act and they play up to that so that you can so they can keep you like in their good graces because you're like oh you're not that smart look at teresa she's so cute she says the wrong thing sometimes no teresa is a motherfucker her and fucking alexia echeverria them them is twin sisters all right so we have dolores with her cute self uh, that dress is pretty that Teresa has on. That dress is pretty that um, Dolores has on. Oh, they have on some pretty dresses. Polly and Louie. Yeah, their dresses are really pretty. Margaret, I mean, not Margaret. Margaret's my girl. Oh, I think something's going to happen between Margaret and Dolores, too. That's gonna. I, I wonder if that's going to affect their relationship, what happened, because we know that Dolores and Margaret are close. I don't know if they're still close. Y'all can let me know in the comments. But I feel like um, a lot, a lot. What's gonna? I, I feel like this is gonna be a good season. I do. Why is he looking at Louis like this? Stop looking at me, Louis. Louis, stop looking at me like this with his eyes like this. When you gonna put a ring on it, girl? Stop. What? What? Is, why is it so intense? Why is it so intense? Look at his face, and then you're red. You're red. You just look like you're like high voltage, like. Like you're about to have an aneurysm. Girl, calm down. He needs some CBD. Get Louie some CBD. That motherfucker needs to calm down. This is unnerving. I don't know how Teresa deals with that. He asked, when are you going to put a ring on it? Look at Louie's face and Dolores' face. Dolores is like this. What are you talking about? He's married. He's still married. Louie is still married. What is the urgency what is the urgency of connecting to someone legally i mean let's like what is the emergency what is the urgency can somebody please tell me the urgency what is it because you're like i don't want to spend so much time acting like a wife without without actually being connected as a wife like i don't understand if louis why would she why would they even get engaged like if dolores doesn't want to get engaged while he's still legally married the divorce isn't final or whatever are they going are they going through a divorce like what is going on with louis relationship i need more information they can beat to their own drum see what i'm talking about they can beat at their own drum they can beat at their own drum yeah i agree i think louis should i think they should meet separately but i think john fuda wants to show he wants yeah they don't need to ha i agree i agree they don't need to have the conversation at the party Oh, so Polly heard. So Polly heard Fessler say y'all didn't execute that correctly. So whatever plan y'all had, I would, I, I would, I would have said some shit like that too at the end. Y'all didn't do that right. <laughs> y'all didn't do that right. What the fuck did y'all do? Y'all didn't do that. Even if I wasn't, didn't have nothing to do with it, cause like if if her man is around here, if Louis around here, you know. You're having private investigator stuff. Of course, we we meeting up to take your ass down. Bitch, you're not gonna be able to come in here, infiltrate with your red face, all in here doing all this, but doing all this fast blinking and shit. Get your ass up out of here. Yeah, we were planning. And Frank Catania, why would you tell him that? Oh, they was planning to come at you, girl. You so messy. That's why you drink martinis, little motherfucker. You. He's like, well. Um, they, they plan to take you down. It, it's no plan to take you down, but you have to remember Teresa. She never starts at a ever, never. That is a woman. She never, it's always something somebody's doing to her and it's so tired. And it's like, grow the fuck up girl. That's what it is. You see Dolores looking at her the way Dolores, the, the two girls from Patterson with non-Italian men with Italian names. That's what, uh, 
Teresa said. I was going to say, Jennifer Aiden just said she didn't lay out too much when she was away. And I was about to say, for I was swear to God, I was thinking like for somebody to have been in Italy, you sure look pale. That's what I was just look, looking at her thinking. Louis, Louis and Bill Aiden are not coming to the party. That's good because it would have been some mess. That's what I was saying. I'm not a dress girl because um, what's her name just reminded me. But these dresses that they have on are really, really, really cute. Um, all the dresses that they've had on so far, Teresa and Dolores's dress at that at their little dinner, Margaret's dress at Jennifer Fessler's house, and then right here, Rachel Fuda's dress is so cute to me. They're all their dresses are really, really cute, and I don't even wear dresses like that, not like that, like that at all, really, ever, <laughs> never. I mean, not like a frilly little dress, you know what I'm saying? If I have on a dress, it's like a maxi dress or a fucking t-shirt dress. You know what I'm saying? That's me. I love New Jersey. I'm sorry. It's just that the whole frequency of the show is different. I don't know what it is. Look at my fucking, um, what's her name? Lacey? Lacey. Margaret's um, home girl. She was met. Did, did she have a date coming in the door? Her dress was really pretty. The dresses are really pretty this season. Come on, girl. Oh, look at Jackie. She looks really good. Danielle's dress, no. This this black and yellow bee dress, bumblebee. I don't know. Maybe I don't like the fluorescent yellow. Maybe I would have liked that dress if the yellow, if the yellow parts, if the yellow parts were like a nude, I think that dress would be bad as hell. You know what I'm saying? But that yellow, that fluorescent yellow, did y'all like Danielle's dress? Mm -mm. I actually think they're a perfect addition to the show. I really do. What do y'all think about Danielle and Rachel? Do you think they're a good addition to the show? I do. I really, really do. I think the, the they're such a good addition to the show because of the history. Like, um, Danielle's history with Dolores and Frank. You know what I'm saying? And then Rachel has a connection. Who does Rachel have a connection to? Who does Rachel have a connection to? I, who do they have a connection to? I can't remember. I got to go back and watch when they introduce her and how she came in. But there's a connection. But I know that Danielle has a connection with Frank and Dolores. She's known them for a long time. So they, the way that they're coming in and the people are, are connected, I feel like when, when you bring a, a cast member into the show and there's no connection to anyone in the show, no, no connection. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't go well. Cause like, who are you? Like, this doesn't even make sense. Who is this random person we're bringing into our friend group and they have no connection to nobody in this friend group. Like, who are you? <laughs> Everybody's going to be looking at you crazy. That's how I've been looking like, who are you girl? Who, who, where, where you, you have to have some kind of referral. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and, and and based on the fucking history of NBC, Universal, Bravo, y'all be hiring racist bigots, liars, thieves. <laughs> so when we can't trust you, you guys vetting these new cast members, the, the person needs to be connected to somebody in the cast. That's how I feel. That said all that to say that shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Bergen County. And where did the purple sided dildo come in? I have a funny story about a purple double sided dildo. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna... Girl, I have a funny story about a, pur a purple double sided dildo. This is not the time and the place. This is a family show. <laughs> You see, and it's funny because they're not, it's not so like, you, did you hear what he was like, apparently I'm on the internet and I like dildos with fingers up my ass. If these men were black, the response would be totally different. You understand what I'm saying? There's like a difference. I don't know. It's just like a difference and a, a lightheartedness about these, these men, but still knowing that in Italian culture, Jewish culture, even like the men are not, and even in Pakistan, not Pakistani, Turkish, they're not like feminine. They're not like feminine men. They're not feminine men, but some they're somehow in touch with this 
soft side of themselves where these kind of jokes don't um, threaten their masculinity. You understand what I'm saying? He was like, apparently, I like double-sided dildos. And then you hear Joe Benigno talk about, woo! <laughs> watch, listen. Watch, watch, watch. Are you in China? Listen. Oh, he said his baby mama's out there. <laughs> he said, you heard him say it. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch, did you hear him say my baby mama? <laughs> Girl, I didn't catch that the first time. He said, apparently my baby mama's out here. <laughs> See, I don't know. I like John Fuda. I don't know what why y'all don't like John the Fudas. The Fudas. Let me see. I want to hear him say that again. Here we go. That was funny. Yeah. Apparently today on the internet is I like and fingers in my Apparently they got my my baby mama. My baby mama. Come on, my baby mama. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like now it's like for for y'all to be still taking that like a, a, as a way to insult people, and it's like it has literally become a part of language. It's like crazy. Like why are you still using that to insult people? Like the way that to make it seem like it's it's a negative connotation. We're just saying to my baby mama, like girl, whatever. I'm just saying it. That's so funny to me. <laughs> It is really funny to hear non-black people say baby mama and baby daddy. It's it will always be funny to me. It will always be funny to me because it's just a testament to how the how language just evolves and people just start using the language where this uh, there's a the group of people where that kind of where where it originated from it's it's used as an insult within that community. You know what I mean? There's something of lesser value to refer to a woman like that. So it's funny whenever I hear non-black people use baby mama or baby daddy. I crack up every single time. As a matter of fact, I'm... <laughs> I was like, as a fact, I want to hear him say it. <laughs> Listen. This is wonderful. It's wonderful news. <laughs> Girl, black men will be ready to kill somebody. <laughs> Dolores is a bad bitch, honey. She talking about. Yeah, get a a good piece of chunk of it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at she. Yes, get it, get it, Melissa. Melissa is a Melissa loves what girl. Go watch a Real Housewives uh, Ultimate Girls Trip. Mel when I tell you, Melissa was in love with. Kenya Moore, honey. But if she wanted to touch on Kenya, she was feeling on Kenya's butt and everything. You know, after she, they start drinking, Melissa especially, she gets a little frisky, honey, with the ladies. And she grabbed a piece. You see how? Did you see how it was shaking <laughs> when she grabbed the Lord's butt? Yes. She said, "Oh, girl." These men don't know what to do. Yes. She's coming. I love it. Melissa looks really pretty. Yes, Melissa. Yeah, I like, I want the women to be okay with saying they don't give a shit about not getting married. Like, I'm having a good time. I'm an old ass lady. Dolores is in her 50s. What? Why do y'all keep trying to do this over and over and over again, girl? And then change your last name. Like, it's some like, you still like, girl. I have girl, whatever. Right. Okay. So do they have a legal separation and they, they just need to go through it with the divorce? Teresa looked cute stepping out of that truck and that ponytail. She looked good. Teresa looks good. Teresa got a nice body. That's one thing I'll give that dim witch. She has a she has a nice body. There's Evan. <laughs> ah. Yes. Oh, look at Jennifer skinny mini. Jennifer Aiden. Joe Gorga's trying so hard not to turn around. Look at his sister. That's a mess. That is a mess. Baby. Margaret got the fuck up out of there. 
she saw she don't want to be near Teresa. That's gonna fuck Teresa up though, because even though she wants to have like that little, she's been like that with Margaret for uh, forever. Like I want to have this little thing with Margaret. Like go watch back. She always has this little thing with Margaret, and Margaret paying her dust. I don't think that's going. I don't think Teresa's gonna like that. What y'all think? I'm glad, you know, and I think Melissa, I think part of Melissa acting like she cared about Teresa was really just an act. I, I, her saying, I feel nothing. I felt that like, I feel like she feels nothing and she's always felt nothing, but she was putting on a show because that's that man's sister. Right. So I've got to act like I care about this broad. I really don't. I really don't give a fuck about her. And I'm actually glad. And that's one of Teresa's Teresa's gripe with Melissa is she wants me out of my brother's life. Right. So I think she's fine with with this. Oh, that candy bar is so cute. Did you see at the end when um uh Jennifer and Teresa was stuffing their bags with that candy, talking shit with the, just stuffing their bags, <laughs> talking shit. Girl, you talking shit about this lady just stuffing bags, stuffing bags, candy dropping on the floor. Did you see how Jen, how Jackie looked Margaret up and down? She said, I would like to read your book as well. So Jackie sent Melissa the book to read because she's going to be on her podcast. And Margaret wants to um, read the book and go back and watch the way Jackie looked Margaret up and down before she said, well, yeah, I had to give her the book. Look. She said, that's okay. What's up, babe? Margaret did not like that. She said, what the fuck? Why are you telling him shut the fuck up? Girl, we're almost done. It's going to be a long video. I told y'all it was going to be a long video. I, I don't know why I keep tossing it on the little ads. Um, I told y'all it was going to be a long video. Girl, it's a mess. Oh, I have. We only have a few minutes left too, and I timed this just right too. I love this. I like. She's a good addition. She's a good friend of the show too. Is she in the beginning? She's a friend of the show. I think that this is a good. Like, I feel like this is good casting. I don't know why. I feel like the the additions to the show. I'm not talking about Jenna, um, Teresa, and Joe, and all that. I'm talking about the additions to the show. I feel like it, it's like it just they just went well. It's just like perfect recipe. Jennifer's getting fucked up. What 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 did Dolores say? I'm sweating and what? Sweating and I smell. <laughs> I'm sweating and I smell. Girl, what you smell like, Dolores? She's nice to you because you're my friend. Teresa really thinks she is a fucking mafia boss. She's so wrong. She she just wanted to say some. She's being nice to you because you're my friend. Jennifer was like, wait, I don't know, because usually people are not nice to me because I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm, I love a good birthday party. See, they're even making like the guys are joking around and they're like, you know, talking about the little, I guess it's a little miniature something that looks like a dildo. And they were like, if it was purple, you know, and they're making jokes about it. You know, I don't know. This is different. Where's your boy? You know how, the, and, I, and you could see the interaction, and I think it's, and I think it's good to see the extension of the women. That's why when they be like, keep the husbands out of it. No, 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 no. Put their asses in it. Put their asses in it, because you get to see an extension of you, a different side of you. This is your husband, and he, this is your partner. We get to see your man in action. We want to see. We want to see. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see oh let me do this so louis is telling john fuda that a party is not a, a place to talk to a person um i wouldn't either i agree i agree i don't we, we don't have to have a we don't have to have a conversation here or you could have came to the party and we can go outside and have the conversation so john is saying that paulie seems like he's on louis side so they're t they're speaking to his integrity and like, are, would you back him up? Would you basically, would you vouch for him? And he's like, if he's wrong, then yeah, I'm not going to back anybody up if they're wrong. Dolores, stop hovering over this mess, a grown ass man. You don't have to protect him. He's fine. She's standing right on the side like this. Here comes Dolores. Time to leave because he said, you're not letting me fucking talk or whatever he said. All right, you're done talking. All right, guys. All right, break it up. Break it up. 
It did. What did it feel like he was taking size? Did y'all feel like um, uh, Louis was taking size, or he was just trying to say, "I can see why he didn't want to meet." That's what I feel like he was doing. Like I can see why he didn't want to meet at a birthday party. That's a conversation y'all need to have outside of here. You know, I agree with him. I agree with Louis wanting to meet him um, outside of the party too. But he could have came to the party and they could have went out separately and met separately. So that I see both sides um, that could have been done. But I mean, why do we want to meet with Louis anyway? Like, who cares? Like, Louis is, who cares? Like, why are we trying to smooth anything out with Louis? Don't nobody care? Louis is weird. Been weird. He's been weird. Now we just get to see it. Now he's been made public. Time to go. He said, don't tell him to say shut the fuck up. I would have said the same thing. Girl, don't tell me shut the fuck up. Having a good time. Your husband went for my husband. Teresa, calm down, girl. Do you want a Tony Award? Like, relax. Your husband went for my husband. How old are you? So he wanted to clear the air before coming here. That's what Teresa explain, is explaining to Rachel. And Rachel's like, he's not here. John would have pulled him outside. Teresa's like, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that Teresa, you're doing too much. My husband, it don't work that way. Girl, what is, what is all of this, Teresa? Girl, what do you know about gentlemen? I love it. I love it because Teresa be coming up to people like she's punking people. Girl, you don't know nothing about them gentlemen. Shut up. You're, Teresa, your husband's a gentleman, girl. <laughs> I have tremendous respect for your wife because we both went to jail. She said, Teresa, he, I heard he was the biggest drug dealer in Bergen County, Teresa. So that was Teresa's cannonball sent over because she said it while the cameras are up and she mentioned it intentionally. Teresa did that intentionally they're saying it over and over again on camera they heard about it but now i'm saying it on camera right you heard about rumors but now we're saying them on camera but when it's done back to you teresa you don't like it teresa i would take that bitch down <laughs> yeah hi double-sided dildo <laughs> He's barking up the wrong. Teresa is a mess. Teresa, what is all of this and all of this? It's too much. Yeah, you know Teresa was telling him to come here. Baby, she's swinging that ponytail. Teresa. The social media. Here we go. You're talking to a drug dealer. You don't listen. You don't know shit. Stop, stop trying to hit me. See, he's squinting his eyes and everything. I'm not trying to hit you. Yes, you are. Has been. Has been. Has been. Basically, bitch, because we about to come in here. The food is about to come in here and take over. Because we really saw the fuckers out here. That, but what you're going to have to do, John, if you're going to if you're gonna be acting like that, you're going to have to tell the truth. You can't let anybody spray you with your truth you can't shout out to funky Daniva. you cannot let the people spray you with your truth honey you better come out and tell the truth if you want to be you don't want to be a has-been anyways that's the end of the show this season see taking shots out of a, a blow up doll's ass i'm the man be talking that's what that's another part that i like <laughs> it's a limp dick with your husband. What did Louis do with Teresa's money, girl? Y'all be so quick to bind, legally bind yourself to these people. I don't know. You're a dirt bag. You're a dirt bag. All right, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the first episode, Real Housewives of New Jersey. They back, baby. All right, peace.